Okay, I have to comment on the way you guys are when I saw you all taking photos. Oh. There's just so much love between y'all. Yeah. I get why the show is success. And yeah. it like in addition to the directing and the writing and the acting, yeah. it's you guys. Yeah. What does it mean to have a day like this where you can just kick back and hang with your, your cast members? I mean, it's fantastic. There is truly like incredible chemistry between the cast and, and the new interns who have come in, like I'm in love with them. They're, <laughs> they're so delightful and talented and their spirit is so buoyant and they all get along with each other like, and they're gorgeous, like truly a thrilling infusion of energy um, and you know we wear scrubs all day we're like basically in our pajamas and so like everybody getting like you know cleaned up and fancy it's we just we're all like over each other <laughs> it's playing dress up and I love that you said that you the the new um, interns fit in just seamlessly with you guys because I was gonna say well is there some sort of hazing process when the new ones come in <laughs> remarkably little hazing I think that people were like hoping for that to happen but actually they're just so delightful and so basically we we immediately all started hanging out offset we had like a like a, we had a couple things at my place with like kids invited and, and they all came out. And then we actually, we all, the interns all flew with us to Denver, Colorado. Um, so my, uh, one of my daughters has Down syndrome and we work with Global Down Syndrome Foundation and we were doing the big fundraiser for the year, which is like an, uh, like a fashion show and auction. And all the interns came to support that as well as ER Fight Master and Anthony Hill. And so there was like all this representation from Grey's Anatomy that came to support the Global Down Syndrome Foundation and the Down Syndrome community. And so, instant bonding. You cannot make this up. I love, I'm so glad that you have that support on yeah. and off camera. That's yeah. really a beautiful thing. Yeah. All right, let's get back into on camera. Okay. Because I am hearing the season finale is going to, I don't know if I'm going to be mad, crying. Yeah. What can you tell me? What am I going to be? Am I gonna, are we getting closure? Are we getting, is there going to be some sort of cliffhanger? Well, I feel like you have more information than I do. Because I know, I know that the last, two, it's, a, it's like a two-parter for yes. the last yes. episodes, which is not unheard of. I've read the first part. I haven't read the yeah. second part. And that's usually where, where people are like jaw on the floor. Does that scare you? I would be, it's that, it scares me that nobody has seen the second No part. one knows, I know. It could be an absolute nightmare. <laughs> no, I think it's going to be great. It usually is. But it, I mean, certainly there will be shock. <laughs> okay. The, I mean, the, the lead up to the last episode, there something happens where you're like, oh, this is going to be the big disaster. And then it, well, I you can't. just saw a disaster. <laughs> like, come on. How yeah, are yeah, we yeah. getting, you know what I totally. mean, jammed in right before the finale? Totally. Uh, <laughs> speaks to the success of the show. The writing is incredible. Now we know that you have a season 20. Yes. Where do you want to see your character go in season 20? What do you want for her? Yeah, well, I think one of the things that I'm kind of loving about Amelia's journey right now is she started on Private Practice and Grey's as this kind of like very wayward, um, you know, kind of a, a cultish, like she was trying to prove herself because Derek was like this, uh, you know, super prominent neurosurgeon. And over the course of, you know, these last many, many years, <laughs> she has really proven herself medically, but also like she's a fantastic mother other, she's a great friend, she's a wonderful sister, and so I feel like what we're getting to experience on a show like this is watching especially women move from the beginning of their career and like needing to get kind of affirmation and acknowledgement and a paycheck, moving into truly their kind of grounded full power. And so I think we, that's rare to see that on television, to see a woman move through a life like that. And so Amelia's now entered this phase where she's uh, chief of neurosurgery, she's a mom, She's uh, she understands herself a lot better, and so now she gets to mentor. And she gets to like offer that kind of mother energy to the like maiden young people. <laughs> I just got scared for Amelia because you have described all these positive things and I'm like, and just when everything is okay, boom. That's when it'll happen. happen. I know. So oh. like, just wait for it. Something something crazy is going to happen. Also, so much has happened. I was like, oh my gosh, she was Derek's sister. Yes. I totally I was I like, know. It's, just so, it's so many years. I know. Which is a testament to the show. Well, exactly. Yeah. And I do miss, I do miss like playing some of those storylines, but it, it'll always be there in Amelia's head and heart. And as everyone keeps saying, things... It's a revolving door, yeah. dead or alive, they exactly. come back. They exactly. come back. Yeah, and then these new ones kind of come in and more story comes from that. Yeah. yeah.